Hello, I'm Daryl Webster for smartstuff.co.nz and in this video I'm going to show you how to use OneNote as an interactive whiteboard. And this notebook we're viewing has been shared and it's been included in a meeting invite with the details and we've sent that to another person by the name of Ben. All meeting attendees that have laptops, tablets or their online meeting attendees can connect to that notebook and interact with it during the meeting and after the meeting or before the meeting. And if you open the notebook within your web browser, you can also interact with it using OneNote web app. I'm going to take you through the process of Ben opening up that whiteboard and you'll see some of his interactions and how they sync to the same interactive whiteboard and OneNote notebook. So let's take a look at Ben's email. So here we have Ben and he's received the meeting invite and he has a link to the OneNote notebook, which he's going to open within the web browser. And it's opened up the um, the whole notebook. If you wanted to link directly to a OneNote page, you could uh, right click and say copy link to this page. So we're going to look at the team meeting. And note that the content is the same as the OneNote notebook that other people are connected to from within the meeting. So Ben wants to add some other items to the agenda and um, being the social creature that he is, he's going to ask about the staff Christmas party. And he's got a couple of other items there that he'd like to make into tasks or a to-do list. And if we switch over to the OneNote application, It synchronizes periodically, or you can manually sync that notebook up now. And you've got Ben's items on the screen. So note you can see the modified time and date that Ben added those items. So here's a feature you can make use of if you want to turn some of these items into action items, as you would within a regular meeting with an agenda and minutes. You can make use of the Outlook Tasks item, which talks directly to your Outlook mailbox and creates a task within there for you. So I'm going to select the Secret Santa's gift item and make that as a task that I'm going to take responsibility for. So that's as simple as selecting an item, going to Outlook Tasks. I'm a bit optimistic. I think I'm going to be able to complete this today. And it flags it as a task with a start date and a due date. And that will create the task within my Outlook mailbox, which of course is also accessible via Outlook Web Access. So if we just go over to Outlook, and we can see that Secret Santa Gifts has been created as a task there. And there's a link to OneNote, so if I wanted to open up that particular task and reference to it, it jumps straight to that page. And let's go back into Outlook. And let's say that I have created or completed that task. And that will now synchronize back to the OneNote page. And so you can see that item is ticked and marked as complete within OneNote. So that gives a, a new dimension to being able to uh, manage action items within the meeting because you can save those and manage them out of your mailbox with due dates and, and reminders. So there's a few ideas about how to use OneNote as a meeting whiteboard to take minutes and um, create to-do lists and, and tasks and interact with it with all the meeting attendees. And we'll cover a few other ideas and some other videos coming up. Thanks for watching.